Hello and good morning. I'm proud to be here in Poland. It's my first time. And I wanted to talk to you something about to encourage new music. We see in schools of uh, Rhino Poetinates, that's the red one in Germany. <laughs> and the key success factors and in my presentation it will be uh, structured in three parts. At first I want to talk to you something about the 10 point program. Uh, you can look behind the point of ours too. Yeah, there. Uh, media literacy to schools, that's the first part. And uh, I want to talk, talk, some, talk something about the success of the program and the, what's more important, the key success factors. And at the end, I only show two spotlights, uh, three or four spotlights, of some schools with the uh, best practice. But before we begin, uh, I want to talk with you about a very important thing because every, every people talk about media literacy and uh, five years ago I found two sentences of uh, Austri Austrian politician uh, from the European part of parliament and there was the sentence media literacy is the ability to use the media to understand and to create critical assessments to be here on it. <coughs> and that's in one sentence all what some who talk about media literacy forget. They talk about some people talk about use, the other talk we talked about yesterday about the critical use and to be careful about the negative threats and something like this. But we talk also about the positive using of media, not only digital media. And that's what I like for the second sentences. The media offers opportunities to engage in worldwide communication, impart knowledge and advance the development of democracy. And that's what yesterday, I don't know if I, if I had the right speech, uh, Pisowski, yeah, yeah, that Pisowski talked about from the university. The sentence means what he said, uh, that media is a tool at schools to, uh, to build social skills. And that's what means for me the second sentence. Okay. Now, I think you have this in your, in your hand behind, because when I talk about program, since 2011, the media literacy to schools is implemented. It's a 10-point program, which is the comprehensive and holistic de development of media literacy for all state stakeholders in school education, for students, for teachers, for parents, headmaster, and also school authorities. Uh, as my colleague Michael uh, told you yesterday, it's also a very important stakeholder if you want to bring media literacy to schools. Um, now we will show the program. Um, the program includes, that teaching quality includes the promotion of quality teaching with media learning, uh, improve its uh, content and methods as well, uh, and also the strengthening of future-oriented teacher training, training the teacher and further training of the teacher. That's the first point. And it's all though, we call it in Germany, Jugend Medienschutz. The use media data and consumer protection will be strengthened and supported in schools, especially by involving the parents. That's the, the two points more. And what's very important to involve uh, 
um, to strengthen the network who exist and to win partners and initiative more projects. And the two uh, rest of points, uh, we give the schools hard and software and um, we will develop some learning management systems for the school on top of the and a content server and if you count you see there's only eight points there are two points more where we have an educational server in Rana Collaborate we develop them more and um, it's not a part of the education ministry it's more the other ministry uh, they um, improve the broadband connection but uh, they have uh, the schools behind in her mind that's very important for to work with digital media that you have a good broadband connection. Okay. Now I want to show you the facts and the success of the program who starts 2007. We train the teacher in using ICT. Um, and it was a great success, more than uh, 30,000 teachers, that's 75% of our teachers in Rana Prevent State, were trained in the topical and didactical benefit of the te technology in the schools. Then more than 150 schools are ECDL, European Computer Driving Licence Test Centers, and more than 550 uh, 40, excuse me, teachers are trainers, uh, though that the students can make the ECDL. And we launched um, a learn management system based on Moodle for all schools, and we uh, developed and started a content media server for all schools. Then about the news media advisors, we installed more than 2,100 news media advisors in schools who are advisors for the colleagues in schools. Uh, what about the what to, uh, to know what about the reality of the students and what they are thinking about and what, what they have some materials, I give them some materials to do it in the courses. I was very proud about we installed um, uh, some the website for school <coughs> parents um, and other stakeholders. They can uh, have some information sessions. We have 700 sessions with uh, more than 2,700 participants, parents, and um, they talk about all what's important, uh, the critical use of ICT, but also the, the change of ICT. And what's the other thing is we have uh, more than 1,000 uh, students at 7 eight schools. They are media scouts. As tutors, they told uh, the they tell the other students how uh, what's important and how to use uh, social media and something like this. Um, I think yesterday, uh, not yet, last year, a colleague of mine, uh, Katina Hahn, told about the uh, internet day. That's the end of the education of the tutors, and it's a very great event in Rana for the day every year. Altogether, more than 300,000 students, also in vocational schools, are trained in special projects. NetRace, it's an internet rally, or um, Cinema Week, or um, something with uh, of data protection, or something like this. Okay, and now we come to the last point. Um, I talked about we give um, we, we, the technical instructor, I think um, we um, give, since 2007, we select each year some secondary school and vocational school to commit to the program for three years and to work on her own media concept. Uh, 
our school program uh, with intensive support by the Pedagogical Institute in Rana Palatinate. And for that, uh, we choose every year uh, some schools. Altogether now, 472 schools, and we give them tools. We give them hard and software, um, mobile um, units with notebooks and interactive whiteboards, uh, so they can do the program in, in the school. And more than 10,000 notebooks and more than 1,300 interactive boards. And this year we have a new project. Uh, we um, on six schools they get tablets, and we test what about using tablets in the classroom. Altogether, that is the success. And now I think. Uh, I want to talk about what are the key factors. The key factor at first was that we do 10 points of program. And we be all parts of meaning of media literacy and all stakeholders. And one important point is that you have a network of stakeholders, not only in school, around in your country. <coughs> Um, we have uh, and to, to strengthen it and to look about what's, what, what are other stakeholders. Uh, are there some um, institutes who want to take part of the program and get together and initiate this new project? Uh, that was being reactivated. You have to look what, what is in my country, what, what are the stakeholders I forget and building uh, network, but all were maintaining. And the other was uh, very, very important, very engaged teachers, teams, headmasters. Um, and that's very important. You have engaged, you have, you have to have engage people in the schools and around it. And um, that would mean detective, uh, dedicated professionals with team spirit. Um, and you also have creating incentives for teachers and students to say, why will I do this? What's my profit? And the last one, I don't want to forget, but you see, I do it very, very small, but it's all more important. But only the money. Without the other two, you have no chance. And I say about the money, it was an over 20 million euro program. And that will give us the possibility to give the hardware and to offer the other things to the schools. And three, four things I don't want to forget. You have people around the network who have the ideas and visions, and you have the, you have to have the motivation. And um, what's very important, patience and patience. Yeah? It's a small way to get the big uh, ship school to go in the way you want to go. Okay, I'm finished. <laughs> okay. um, the last one, it ran up to the internet, it was you had a good basis, activities in the past that I don't uh, talk about because it's not important. I show you two, uh, four examples. The first without the website, so I read five minutes. Um, there's a media project, my mobile, through informing students for using the phone in mathematics for clothes and angle. They make a photo safari on angle or shooting and editing videos on their own cell phones to explain angle, uh, angle or something like this. The second, um, we talked yesterday about Facebook, um, and that has to be seen critical. And in uh, Germany, there's also some social communities with the same tools, especially for schools, and they can get on her server. They can create profiles, adding and showing, posting all what's, what the social community 
uh, have to have, and uh, it's over a special school community, you can use it uh, on your own server, and you can take care of your data. And the last uh, is Port Church Project. It's very interesting. Uh, the uh, national parliament in the past, uh, there's a great discussion, and um, there's a part of history course, and they have to um, uh, about federalism with centralism, and they do it by Twitter at the gymnasium. Yes, they have to read what is the opinion of the uh, <coughs> meaning of the person who uh, discussed uh, many years ago, and they're blocking the experience. I have the link, I, you can have my presentation, you have uh, went on the website, I think you can have a look at the example, but I don't want to forget, uh, we have one of the most innovative teachers in uh, Rana Palatinate, he is a historical teacher, and he do a lot about, he was one who do the, the Twitter and blog experiment by Port Church, and he is one who do with the inverted of Lips classroom, I don't know if you heard about it, and, but he is the example of what the role, that some last important thing, teachers have to change the role from instructors to moderators, and they still have to learn in pure experience innovative digital tools. And he is one example, and you can look on the website to do a lot of things that he uh, changed his rule. Okay, thank you for listening, and if you have some questions <coughs> later, tomorrow, weeks, you can send me an email in English, please. And I hope I can answer your uh, questions. Thank you.